Odafest listeners, and welcome to the newest episode of the Odafest podcast. I'm Jay. I'm Alfred. This is G. And today we'll be talking about, I guess, some upcoming. Well, we've got a we've got a little mixed bag here. Uh, some sad stuff, some good stuff, some funny stuff. Uh, but first, before we do that, I'll throw it over to Alfred for some news and announcements. Yeah, so we hope everyone enjoyed the anime-inspired culinary event at Girl and Gun, our longtime sponsor. All the food looked and tasted amazing, and we had a really, really good turnout. We're looking forward to co-hosting more of these events in the future. So uh, thanks to those who came out and supported us, and thanks once again to the kitchen and front of house staff at Girl and Gun for all of their brilliant work. They were really jazzed to... to to host an event like this and uh, you know kind of open the horizons a bit yeah right? so yeah that was that was great so thanks for thanks if you came to that uh Odafest will also be at the uh calgary expo holiday market with exclusive merchandise additionally tickets can be purchased at the table for a 50 dollars early bird price with no additional processing fees as when ordered online uh, speaking of which, pre-purchase your tickets. They're on sale for 50 bucks. The entirety of the Odafest weekend, 50 bucks. That's less than 17 bucks a day. I did um, the math. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, 50 bucks for you order off the site. But again, the Expo Holiday Market, 50 bucks without processing fees. Yeah. So you don't go through um, Eventbrite. Even if you, like, I don't know what you're, if you don't know what a regular daily prices are, but... They're at least 20 bucks a day, I believe. I think it's like uh, 25, 35, 25 or something like that. Something like that. Uh, on the whole. So like even if you can only make it for two days, you've already made it out ahead by mm-hmm. buying this pass. Yep. All right. So let's start the episode. With on, the heavy news. <laughs> with the, with well, is it news news? Well, not really. Or is it just something for us to talk about? Uh, well, it was news. Point. I mean, like yeah. Uh, well, uh, when, yeah, for you can't be everyone's out of, already know. you can't be out of the loop yeah okay so rest in peace stan lee um pass away at the age of 95 95 he had a good life and this was not unexpected considering you know like he had been canceling convention experiences prior to this and all that stuff right mm-hmm. and uh the you know he, it, it's a big deal because if you look at pop culture all around us right now no single person has had that much influence on our like modern day pop culture than he has single-handedly not even modern day i mean like even our childhoods growing up yeah exactly so much of an influence caused by it's marvel essentially that was everywhere yeah yeah yeah. but i mean like if anyone needs a quick reminder of just what he had his hand involved in mm -hmm. there's spider-man there's x-men uh iron man thor hulk the fantastic four uh, Black Panther, which has been a huge hit yeah. uh, in, like, in its revival, essentially. You have Daredevil, who has his own series. Doctor Strange, which is really amazing, and like an, an Ant Man, and a lot, like even more than that. But just like, like literally like every about, big Marvel movie that came out, yeah. Stanley was part yeah, of and the that, creation. And before, and before that, it was the comics and uh, yeah. the TV shows, animated mm-hmm. sh- series, everything like that. Yeah, no, right? uh, it's just mainly, what I mean by that is, like, if you look at the landscape of pop culture now, right? Like The, the, majority, the, the, the nerdy pop culture. Well, not even that. It's, it is, though. It's, like, main, it's, it's, it's mainstream now, right? It is I mean, the mainstream, but it's still, like, that's the primary genre. I guess but so. he is, like, the godfather for mm-hmm. that, right? So, yeah, uh, it's hard to imagine what we would be thinking of or watching or anything like that if you remove literally all those superhero movies yeah, all exactly. those influences just, from the last 10 years yeah i mean that right? that type of writing and that type of characterization has been going yeah. leaking into the genres and stuff right so yep. it's it's just incredible to, to to see the impact that one person has had on um like it's hard to, you know, it's not it's not even pop culture now yeah. this is a straight up culture right because, we're, we're talking yeah. like the like the miyazaki of of like the it, it, as like the best comparison i can think of for like for immediate, anime like, yeah. for anime related culture well, for example well like, stan lee was was himself also like a, a proponent of um anime as well he was he was he was personally into anime right he uh did help co-write an anime i don't recall the name off the top of it off my head but um he did have a cameo in it so if you ever want uh, <laughs> that's funny oh crap what was it it it, the alter ego of this kid worked in a coffee shop and Stan Lee shows up and asks for coffee in Hero this anime. Man? Hero Man. That might be it. Yeah. I, I just wrote, I googled the term 
Stanley anime. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. And what popped up was Hero Man. I think it might be Hero Man. Which is yeah. a manga anime series created by Marvel Stanley and Bones. Hey, there you go. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So he, he was a big proponent of anime as well. So it's not quite, you know, not relevant. And But I mean, then again, despite the fact that we're an anime con, right? We yeah. still care about other aspects media. Of, the, of media, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, no, he himself was a, a fan of anime. And, you know, there's been the... Uh, Avengers anime. Oh, check this out too. Yeah, man, Stanley's awesome. I just found like a like a still where like Stanley has a yeah, yeah, the, in the anime. yeah, the Stanley. Uh, <laughs> ca- yeah, exactly. He has cameo and everything. That's weird. Um, but uh, like, oh, yeah, speak, speaking of anime see. cameos, did you see the one where he was in Teen Titans in a DC movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was great too. So I, I mean, I gotta like, it's gonna be so sad the moment you watch like the last uh, movie that he might have appeared in. We don't know what that is yet. I think. Yeah, because technically around. he yeah. could have recorded a cameo for he did. all the. <laughs> he did. He did record projects. a few yeah. prior to that. So the, the next Avengers one, uh, Obviously. he's already done uh, that one. Yeah. He's uh, already done uh, Captain Marvel, probably. The one for Captain Marvel as well. So, yeah, like, so I, I'm going to guess that there's probably four. I'm going to guess like yeah. four movies. At the most right now. Yeah. He filmed he filmed several, but yeah. yeah, no, it'll be it'll be just really sad to see, you know, dedicated to Stanley at the end of um the next oh, uh, yeah, the dude. next movie. It's gonna be really sad, but <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's just it's gonna be something missing, you know. Well because, because for I, me it's a it's kind of a one of those things that it like I didn't know him personally, so like it can only affect me so much. What? You did, <laughs> but Gee, please. I mean, no. I mean, did you meet him at all? Yeah, I did like, actually. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was yeah. literally one of the nicest guys ever. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. He always seemed like super down to earth. It, it not only yeah. was it that it was like he was genuinely happy to see his fans and everything. Right. And um, there's actually an interview uh, that has been recorded where basically they were asking him questions, and then he's just like busts out for a minute, and he just like talking about the fans and like mm-hmm. how he wouldn't be there without them and stuff yeah, like that every, like, I th- I every think, interview i've seen with him is super yeah. genuine that, that's the, the thing, thing is, is like yeah. he believes in the universes that he's created for people like he, right, he yeah. believes in the power of that imagination he, he has, yeah he and, does. That, and that and those characters Did. and what they stand for for and those virtues and mm-hmm. even like the the villains that he's like you know like uh, like he 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 believes in the whole of the of the thing and how right good it can be right, right? like to 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 Stan Lee, it was never about like escapist stuff, right? Like, I yeah, mean, like, uh, he used to have a column in in the old comics. It was called like Stan Soapbox or something like that. Yep. And he he used to like. Th- there's a few legendary ones where like he kind of broke out. And the there was one a, a reader had mailed in and said, "Hey, like, why do you always politicize your comics? Right? Like, comics are supposed to be escapist fantasy." And he basically said that any story without a message is a, is a human without a soul, right? Yeah. And he, he was really passionate about that stuff, I mean, too. Yeah. He did something like that even, like, early on when he... Before he really made a name for himself because mm-hmm. I believe it was, like, some kind of... Uh, I think one of, like, the, the drug agencies yeah. uh, in the U.S. reached out to him mm-hmm. to, like, create, like, a message. Right. Um, and he he did do the work i want to i want to make sure i'm pulling out the deep the right details for this but he essentially like he did it in a way that they didn't especially love but he wanted to do it like right mm-hmm. and do it like his way so i'm gonna see if i can find the exact thing right but, um like he he definitely has that belief that right he, the story is everything yeah and and you better make it relevant right and make, like you know? man um if you can go find it, Vancouver Film School. Uh, apparently, some students got the chance to interview him a while back when he, I guess, he was in town for Fan Expo or something. Yeah. But um, yeah, there, there's a really awesome little documentary by some students from Vancouver Film School that they uh, they had recorded, and it, it just basically outlined his whole idea behind um, the philosophy of comics, which is you know, like it's not about just the art; it's not just about you know, like creating character that you can look up to and only look up to right it's like yeah. there, there's there's you know they have to be human they have to be flawed and all that so it was it was just really interesting go look it up vancouver film school they have it um another thing i want to mention he was super progressive too like politically not just politically but like socially um did you see the uh the one soapbox thing that he wrote about uh racism yeah i was actually trying to look that up right now yeah like that specific one i, I have it Do- I okay. actually have. Do you mind yeah. if I recite it? That's what it was. No, no, go ahead. Okay, Stan's soapbox. Quote, 
Let's lay it right on the line. Bigotry and racism are among the deadliest social ills plaguing the world today. But unlike a team of costume supervillains, they can't be halted with a punch in the snoot or a zap from a ray gun. The only way to destroy them is to expose them, to reveal them for the insidious evils they really are. The bigot is an unreasoning hater, one who hates blindly, fanatically, indiscriminately. If his hang-up is black men, he hates all black men. If a redhead once offended him, he hates all redheads. If some foreigner beat him to a job, he's down on all foreigners. He hates people he's never seen. People he's never known with equal intensity, with equal venom. Now, we're not trying to say it's unreasonable for one human to bug another. But although anyone has the right to dislike another individual, it's totally irrational, patently insane to condemn an entire race, to despise an entire nation, or to vilify an entire religion. Sooner or later, we must learn to judge each other on our own merits. Sooner or later, if man is ever to be worthy of his destiny, we must fill our hearts with tolerance. For then, and only then, will we be truly worthy of the concept that man was created in the image of God, a God who calls us all his children. Pax et justia, Stan Lee. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And that was actually one of the really good ones of his in the soapbox that uh, I know it's, it's kind of been making its, its rounds yeah, on it's, the internet as well, has, yeah. um, especially as of late, because... Mm -hmm. Of all the stuff that's happening so, around the world, yeah, and it's it's interesting because he has a he has, he's seen so much history, right? Like, I mean, oh. um, you know, pr prior prior to to this whole revolution in comics, where you know it's been a little more socially conscious and such, right? People were kind of accusing Marvel of you know sexualizing their female heroes and all that, right? But like, he's always viewed it as sort of like an empowerment, right? But I mean, like that that whole view has evolved over time. Like again, he's human right or he was human and like you see his views change over time as well right so but you can see that influence on the comics right like you can see he, a clear line like clear periods in marvel where like you know they, they kind of went with what was socially acceptable yep. right? yeah yeah um i want to bring up that thing i was talking about uh just mm -hmm. circling back uh so basically the the i don't know if there is or was but there used to be something called the uh kong's code author uh, authority which is essentially right the communist code authority yeah, yeah, yeah they they basically for better or worse they would do they were like the censorship. It, was, it was censorship it was, it yeah, was, yeah. yeah it was kind of like but not always in like the worst way it was just like uh you know like well maybe it was, it's like too much blood and gore yeah like, it was like, blood and gore about, like mainly, esrb yeah, yeah. ratings yeah, and yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah right yeah um but basically uh the story is that lee indirectly shaped um uh, and or reform part of the comics code mm -hmm. because uh, the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare approached Lee asking him to write like a story f uh, about uh, like it's essentially an anti-drug use story, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And he did a Spider-Man where um, one of Peter Parker's friends uh, got addicted to prescription oh, drugs. Wait, was, was, was this the Flash Thompson one? Because I think it, it might have been Flash Thompson. His, it was been. his former bully or something got addicted yeah. to drugs. Or something. Then, or, or it could have been Harry. I don't remember. Yeah, but, yeah. but the CCA basically said, like, no, we can't approve this. Like, you're, you're literally showing, like, drug use. And it's, oh, like, it's yeah. no, like, that's no good. And Stanley just basically, like, stood his ground mm -hmm. on, the, on the story. It was just, like, mm -hmm. uh, he, he, just, he, he just said, screw it. Yeah. I'm publishing the story without your approval. Like, right, I just yeah, don't, yeah. I don't care. Uh, it, it, like it's a story that needs to get out. You asked me to like, or somebody else asked me to do this. Mm -hmm. Technically, an authority higher than the, just like the CCA or whatever, yeah. but also just the idea that he knew the story should be important. Right, exactly. And um, I, I think he he also had a, a part in the decision to kill off Gwen Stacy as well. And not only that was was he he made it so that it was almost indirectly or was ambiguous whether or not it was Spider Man's fault. Yeah. Like when Gwen Stacy died too, right? Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, it's one of those things where it's like he made those stories a little bit more real, right? Because it was exactly, yeah, yeah, real life things that could be happening, like that whole drug thing. Yeah, that that was a that was and, a problem back then. I mean, it's technically still a problem problem right now. There there are people out there who are addicted to drugs, mm -hmm. yeah. and we can't just be like, oh, well, if we just don't show it, then it doesn't happen, kind of deal. And he was very aware of stuff like that, and. You know what, like, the, the thing is I want to point out for a lot of the characters, not that, like, not each one has, like, their appreciated fan base and everything like that, but it's it's his characters that have, like, flaws and are the most human are, like, his most celebrated char mm -hmm. uh, characters. Like, Spider-Man, 
is got to be like Spider-Man's up there. One of the yeah. one of the biggest ones um, because you're talking about yeah. essentially one that just starts out as a kid who just doesn't know like how to handle his new abilities and the responsibilities that have to go with them and everything like that. And you can see that he makes mistakes and you can see that he has regrets and and like like it's all these very powerful emotions and you know um, you have uh, uh, like X Men, where you have a lot of characters that have to face social inequality every day, mm-hmm. alongside just being a lot of them are again just kids just trying to figure out life, mm-hmm. right? So it's crazy. Um, but again, just I don't know. I, I'm not huge into comics. I don't. Yeah. I'm not huge into superhero well, stuff. Uh, but, but you I mean, cannot. You, you cannot. Yeah, exactly. Like, you you don't have to be into comics to understand the significance that this yeah. one person had, right? On again, our our culture, right? Yeah. It's not just pop culture anymore. Keep in mind, comics are now mainstream, right? Yeah. Kids I, now. I really don't know who we're gonna see anyone like like. No, there's no it, there's nobody else really I'd, I'd say, I'd say like in terms of influencing a whole generation of kids it'd be jk rowling would be the, the, closest, the closest i'd say but yeah um i mean but even, even, even then like a single or yeah even then i mean right. yeah but like it, like she taught a whole generation of kids how to read basically right yeah. or to get into reading but i mean the movies themselves took influence from marvel right yeah. because with the whole cinematic universe and you know show, like being so character based and so um you know having each each franchise be linked to linked to another right because now we've got fantastic beasts mm-hmm. right um yeah like i'm pretty sure stan had a had a hand in that as well yeah right yeah it was and one Kevin of those Page things with the the comics back in the day where you'd be reading all these different comics um maybe not you guys but mm-hmm. um for me you'd, i would be reading uh, a bunch of comics and then um it, it definitely came to head when a lot of those characters started crossing over and you're like wait a second yeah this isn't this isn't all like different worlds. These aren't like no. single handed heroes. All these heroes exist in the same yeah, world. Yeah, and, and that somehow all makes, it, makes it somehow more real, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's um, yeah. That that was an aim of all the comics as well, right? Mm-hmm. It's not just the movies. Yeah. I saw yeah. so many like different um art tributes uh, to Stan yeah. as well, yeah. and, like in this past week, and it's been mm-hmm. really amazing. Just like all the kind of outpouring of, yeah. of support mm-hmm. and just like remembrance and everything that's going to yeah, be involved. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and it's like, and again, he wasn't as divisive of a, a person either, you know, like kind of he was just universally, yeah. I mean, you know, fame does a ton of, a ton of horrible things to people, right? Money does a hor- like a ton of horrible things to people. And, you know, unfortunately toward the, towards the end of his life, you know, he was like the subject of some, you know, like he was a victim of elder abuse for for one thing. Right? Some sketchy things were happening. Sketchy things were happening around him, yeah. but yeah, he kind of just kept positive, and um, it was just positive vibes all around, right? Like he's not a Hugh Hefner, is what I'm saying. Because no. you, you remember when Hugh Hefner died, people were like, "Yeah, should we be mourning this type of person?" You know, yeah. and then like, but Stanley, yeah, no, it's that's it's. A I tragedy. mean, another big thing about Stan was um, he actually mentioned in one of his interviews where he was going on about. Um, how the people he grew up with had moved on to like all these big important jobs. Yes, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. he just one. saw himself as like, what's he doing? He's just creating stuff for entertainment. Yeah. yeah. And at first, he was kind of down on himself for yeah. on that, but then he thought about it some more. He's like, wait, no, like the the world needs entertainment. Every mm-hmm. everybody needs a smile every now and again. And yeah, like well, and like it's not it's that is no more relevant. It is so much more relevant now, you know, like in, in the, the current world we live in, right? So it, it, I'm just happy for him to, to have to, to that he got to see basically the worlds that he crafted come to life. Yeah. You know, so yeah. definitely in like a whole other way too that uh, mm-hmm. I kind of never seen before or at least not like imagined so well and fleshed out and mm-hmm. everything like that. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah. My, my only parting comment on that is that I want to share something that I saw. Uh, about Stanley, but it's it's definitely on a humorous note and it's not in bad taste. Okay. <laughs> I it think was, I know what you're talking I about. I think you okay. know what yeah. <laughs> Basically it was for everyone who's going to Stanley's funeral, don't forget to stay until after, for a while after. <laughs> 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 See if there's any extra bits. There'll be an extra Excelsior. Yeah. And yeah. And even with that Excelsior, um essentially oh, it, it it means upwards and onwards to greater glory. Imagine that. Is that is yeah. that's I, did, I thought it was a, a word he coined. Is that seriously like that, a, that's that's, that's straight thing. from his mouth? Actually, oh okay, all right. Uh, you know, John, imagine that funeral. 
Yeah. How many? How many? Like, it's the imagine pri- the actor. No, it's already. It's already. No, it's already happened. And no, it's, no, no, it's no. a small private funeral. I think. Oh, uh, okay. Well, any is. memorial then? I, I'm sure yeah. there was like some larger kind of like. Let's yeah, there's got to be. Yeah. Um, I mean, that would have been. There's a big compilation out there of all the the Marvel stars giving their their kind tributes. of thoughts and yeah. tributes on it. So it's uh yeah, Nothing. it's out there if you want to look it up. But anyways, anyways, let's was, uh, you let's, know, let's move on to yeah. because Watch we it. have to acknowledge that we did. We just have to acknowledge that. But. I mean, speaking of Marvel characters, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could be like Ryan Reynolds is in something new. Okay. Deadpool, I, the I, PG version. I, mean, <laughs> I seriously want to watch Detective Pikachu. Okay, yo, Detective Pikachu. I really want to watch. Looks it. very Did you play interesting. The game? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't oh, have a switch. Man. I don't have a switch. I actually, I, I, I felt like I sh- maybe I'll buy it used or something. I'm but actually excited for this movie, but not for like, oh, yeah. it's because of the Pokemon movie. I'm just like. I really want to see all the the designs that they yeah. have for all these. How did they pull it off? Is one my, my I want, question. Right? I want like, like Mr. I want to see Mr. Mime. <laughs> I, no, I mean, Mr. Mime's Mime. already shown up in. Uh, no, I know, but I just want to see him like um, more of him in the trailer. There was some really creepy stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some creepy pasta. Not really creepy pasta. It was like his Pokedex entry, which is like something about like when he gets pissed, he'll like he'll he'll become your he he will. Uh, 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 partner up with like the person who's pissed off at him's mother to like punish the person. What the heck? <laughs> what? And that explains something about like how Ash Ketchum is. Is that actually a real Pokedex entry? <laughs> it was. I'll, I'll try okay. and find. It. I'll right. find but the exact. This sounds like a creepy pasta entry, uh-huh. rather than an actual Pokedex. Well, entry. like Mr. to be fair, a lot Ryan. of Pokedex entries. Read, yeah, like, mind you, some pasta. Pokedex entries are like messed really up. messed up, and yeah. you're like, whoa. Um, but I see if I can find honestly, it looks it looks way better than it has any right to be. Like I, I heard the concept. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, is it going to be animated? No, it's going to be live action. It's like, okay, they're live gonna models. they're gonna have um, like a weird you know smooth CD, CG rendered stuff on top of live action footage, right? Unless they make the Pokemon look realistic. Yeah. But they did it, and they still look like Pokemon, and you can immediately tell what they are. Yeah, you can like, tell exactly which Pokemon they are. But they have that more realistic look to them, and that doesn't bother me at all. It looks perfect to like, me. It looks real, yeah. but on the same hand, something about it bothers me. Well, it's an uncanny valley thing, right? But like, but it's not not just the uncanny valley. It's just part of me is like, they shouldn't be real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think it's, the thing is, this is the type of movie I've been wanting to see for oh, decades. God, look at the details. Like, look, at, he's tiny little. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Mister Mime is creepy he's, as Mr. all Mime hell. He has yeah. tiny little hairs. Tiny little hairs, and he's got the yeah. But like again, this is the type of movie I've wanted to see since I was a kid. Just so you guys know, Jay's just staring at pictures of Mr. Mime right now. <laughs> That's this is super creepy. Well, when you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back, so you should be careful, Jay. Um <laughs> anyways. Yeah, like uh there there's also I think IGN had like some previews of the practical models of the of the Pokemon mm-hmm. from the movie as well. Because it's not just CG, right? They did have some puppetry. So you get a yeah, close-up look at uh, the Pikachu. You get a close-up look at Charizard, which actually looks really derpy in live action. But um, th- there was one extra one that didn't appear in the trailer. There's a there's a live action Snubble, which looks really good. Okay. Yeah. Look look up the Snubble puppet. It looks great. But I'm yeah. t- I'm too entranced by Mr. He, Mime. He's just constantly looking at Mr. Mime. Okay. Now. So but so, th- there is there is one thing though. Yeah. Um. So when I saw these the, the actual images of all these like oh, the props l- really live action. Yeah, yeah. Pokemon instantly I was brought back yeah. to several years ago to when there was a essentially an artist uh-huh. who had come out with their own fan drawings of what if Pokemon were real uh-huh. and he had drawn out a bunch of Pokemon but made them realistic yeah and instantly that same design style like it was immediately brought back to that I think a lot of artists have done that but like a lot of the time when they do that, that looks really creepy. Oh, right? it, it looks super creepy, but it was it was that it realisticness. Worked. Yeah, but like it. like th- this this works. I I still think like yeah, it's a realistic Pikachu. It doesn't look creepy at all. The only one that looks creepy is Mister Mime, and it's meant to look creepy. Yeah, right. Like some of them will look creepy, guaranteed. Yeah. Whereas others will look kind of just realistic, kind, right? Yeah, kind of realistic. I think Charizard looks great for what he is, mm-hmm. right? Because it's it's a fire it's a fire breathing dragon, right? It's it's going to look like scaly, it's going to look okay, that that's fine, right? right. Gr- Greninja, I'm surprised they pulled off. Greninja's right? actually one of those ones that really intrigued me. Yeah. Cuz I'm like that looked really okay, good for but me. 
aside from the designs and aside from the visual style, right? Yes. Like can, we need to talk about like the immediate sense of like they understood, they understand what Pokemon is all about, mm-hmm. right? When you see the, the city, right? It's not like New York. Nope. Whatever. It's Rhyme City. They say right there, it's like the, the city looks like it's straight out of like a current gen Pokemon game, yep. right? With all the Blade Runner stuff. All the ads, every single thing is a, is an Easter egg to something. There's and you one, see billboards for like Moo Moo Milk. You it's see absolutely the Pokemon universe. Yeah, one hundred percent as well. It's not like oh, there's only a handful of special Pokemon that did get to hang out with their trainers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You literally see Pokemon They're everywhere, everywhere. There's Pidgey flying around, and there's, it's a yeah. normal occurrence. And nobody's like, oh, look, it's like out of place. It's yeah. like everybody's no, like, this no, is this is Pokemon this world. is the world. This is the Pokemon I, world. Yeah. There was something I, I was talking to about uh, uh, with Alfred before you got here, G, which was like, is this an anime or is this a game movie? Is this a video game? If movie? this is a video game movie, it will be the best video game. But movie, do you, I but think. Do you like? I, 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 yes, I, I think this is technically a video game movie. But do you consider the sure. anime movies video game movies? No, because they don't follow the canon, What's, right? So, what do you mean they don't follow the canon? <laughs> like, well, literally, well, like, to me, the canon's the games. How well right? do you know the movies? <laughs> well, the movies are their own thing, though. Like, movies have their own continuity. But right? okay. no, the games, like the games. No, no, hold on, per- hold on. A second. They're not hold like on Pokemon Yellow, so they're not, they're not like perfect in that. Regard, okay, mm-hmm. but there's some. What came first? Okay. Was it the anime, the manga, or the game? The game. The games came first. The then games the came anime, first. Then the anime. Therefore, the anime movies came after yeah okay for the anime is an animated video game movie <laughs> yep there you go so yeah so it's a but it is a video they okay, are sure, video game movies. sure yes but let's, let's put it that way okay they, they are video so game they're movies. all video game movies yes okay because the this game be came good. first no it, it i think it will be because again they demonstrate that they understand what pokemon is and the whole mr mime thing right mm-hmm. it like it's funny to the general audience right because it's like holy crap it's a, it's it's pikachu interrogating this creepy looking thing yeah yeah but you know the games is like holy crap he just used mirror shield yeah, yeah. you know it's like you know and like they and that drop- was actually one of those things i saw and i was like oh man that's actually really cool yeah and they drop all these little things in it and it's like like they, they get what makes pokemon i mean pokemon, technically it's right? reflect or it's reflect physical move. fine reflect okay <laughs> i just want to point that out no no that's fair that's fair <laughs> But yeah, it's it's the, gotta, gotta the, be this accurate. is why I'm so excited for this movie because they 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 actually understand and it there's a ton of care put into the world and it's it's immediately obvious from that's just that one small trailer, right? I'm just surprised more than anything else that Nintendo greenlit this. I'm, I'm not. I, but like I'm like no, it's one thing that okay, yeah. you have to understand the Pokemon company is is actually its own company that yep. owns and operates Pokemon. Yeah. But they uh, they operate underneath like Nintendo's Nintendo, like yep. watchful eye kind of idea. Mm-hmm. The fact that they kind of have like this creepy Mr. Mime, for example, and, and by the way, like you have like creepy Pokedex and ent- like canon Pokedex entries for a lot of Pokemon that like make things a little weird, but mm-hmm. you never really touch upon it too too much. In the games, there's like a couple of things here and there where you see like ghosts and crazy little things, but on the whole, it's like pretty kosher. Really, it was but pretty kosher it- with Mimikyu and that whole introduction with like. Like no. creepy ass introduction in the game, but that's the thing. Like, there's always been like it, it's a. It, I think Mimikyu is a, a ghost type, right? Yeah. So like with Ghost Pokemon, that's always been like their their uh, mo. Like in the games, there's like haunted mansions where you yeah. actually see like yep. ghosts in the game. It's mm-hmm. like human ghosts, human NPC ghosts, and other stuff like that. It's just I don't think they've made it so like viscerally kind of like weird Dude, i don't know, you know like, I mean? like like lavender town just go into that tower again it's like okay see that that's probably Yo, the lavender town example. will yeah, never that. leave me that yeah that place is that mu- like forever creepy. It's the music the, mo- the music hit me and like it's but oh dude if we, no, we just want to talk about like chip tune music and how well it hits like yeah the, the, the right like themes like we could go on forever about that no right? but i think that's actually one of the, those things because the creepiness factor has always been in pokemon mm-hmm. there's always been something yeah. that was like like mr Mime has always kind of like you know it's it's it's, it's always been oh, off yeah, always been weird it's like, always been off mr mime is like humanoid but still a pokemon yeah. and like literally that weird middle ground and they're like, yeah, we're just going to throw that in the movie because yeah. it belongs. Yeah, and they, they again, it's it's this understanding, right? It's like a wink and a nod, right? And yep. it's um, and I, I think the reason it's so good is because they're under the watchful eye of Nintendo, right? Nintendo will not allow Warner Brothers to mess this up. You know what I mean, right? Like they they 
they probably had a ton of creative insight into this movie. And, you know, again, it shows via the writing. But also, did you see how many generations were represented in that one trailer? <laughs> right? You had everything from G1 to G5, right? Like, or where are we on now? G5? No, like 7. G7? Yeah, everything yeah. from, like... The fact that Good Ninja shows up, right? Yeah, no, we've got a whole gambit of different yeah. generations showing up. And that was actually one of those things I was worried about at first, mm -hmm. that it was going to only be like G1, Gen G2. 1, yeah. and then next movie was going to be Gen 2, the next movie is Gen 3. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm suspecting there's going to be subsequent movies, maybe not Detec Detective Pikachu, mm -hmm. but there will be additional Pokemon movies coming out following In this. live action. Oh, and here we go. Here's another cinematic universe, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got to say that when I was like eight or nine when i first got into pokemon and it was cool and then there was like a period of time where it wasn't cool but i didn't care because yeah, i mean it wasn't cool wasn't, the, the, there was, was like, a period of time but yeah there was a there was a period of time basically generations three three to like to, six to, to, yeah <laughs> people were Until like the, screw pokemon the entire game boy advance run yeah, yeah which really sucks yeah but uh like unless you were into it everybody like it wasn't popular anymore people like you were like a nerd and stuff i did not think that i would come back to like in my adult life There'd be a, I'm I'm gonna go see a Pokemon movie yeah where it's gonna be live action kind of built towards a slightly older audience too. Yeah. There's nothing I don't think there's anything in that Detective Pikachu trailer that specifically tells me it's a gonna be a movie. PG movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it it looks like it's gonna. Well, I don't think it's PG. I don't think it's gonna be like 18A. But no. I just want to clarify that. It's the nothing says Pikachu's not gonna be swearing. Gonna Simply be, put, well, no, he's okay. Like he did, he did yeah. say, "Oh my god!" Like yeah. he didn't say, "Oh my gosh!" He's like, "Oh my god!" They, yeah. they like Which you would think that's fine, something. but By you're not. Way, he should be saying, "Oh my Arceus," but you know, you're, you're not gonna be seeing <laughs> Pikachu busting out some Deadpool lines. Simply put. Well, I think he, I think he might. I think we. we There's got to be some references. I don't know. Probably. Yeah, and I. But think, anyways. Um, like I just, <laughs> just I, I just never thought the I'd see the day. Too. Yeah, me neither. Just the move the movie too. Like I yeah. totally thought he was he had pulled a real gun instead of a stapler at, at, at the beginning of the movie. Oh yeah, yeah, because it was so dark, and I was like, oh geez, this is this is dark, <laughs> you I'm know. Not, but I, 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 I think, think it's going to be good though. Have I ever told you the? I'm the, optimistic in all yeah. honesty. So Netflix, just a quick aside, but Netflix has the original Pokemon uh, series. Um, yeah, uh, season one, right. Uh -huh. And I kind of I haven't watched cartoon cartoons in a long time in a especially like older kids cartoons and I kind of forgot what they used to get away with uh -huh. and I just randomly flipped on an episode once and it was the episode where they are in the safari zone mm -hmm. um, and Ash just enters and he's like oh like you know I know there's gonna be a lot of cool Pokemon here or whatever right and this is the first like five minutes of, the, of this episode right uh -huh. okay okay the episode's name is the Kangaskhan kid by the way so you can look oh up. that one yes, yes. <laughs> yeah 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 so the but it has nothing to do with the Kangaskhan kid actually it's just he he enters the zone mm -hmm. he's like it's gonna be cool and in the bush nearby he sees a Chansey and the Chansey is just like Chansey <laughs> and he's like I'm going to catch it. And he like prepares a Pokeball and like whips it and like it hits the Chansey. Nothing happens. And then out of nowhere, bam, it's Officer Jenny, but it's like a Safari uh, safari Zone Jenny, right? And uh -huh. she's like, stop you poacher, but she's got this shotgun <laughs> that she's like, <laughs> leveraging. And I'm just like straight up double barrel shotgun just being like, stop you poacher. And I was just like, holy crap. Dude, but I don't she, think they would allow in, in that. The same, no, no, she's just upholding the law. They yeah, also censored fine. another episode, like the Tauros episode. Do you remember how like Ash magically has a herd of Tauros? Do you remember that? Yeah, that yeah. was yeah. completely skipped he just over. Caught, he just caught a yeah, whole bunch. Yeah, that entire episode was censored in North America because like the 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 rancher w was like a like a gun toting like, oh, like gunslinger, right? That's funny. And there's one moment where he literally points a revolver in Ash's face, yeah. which is why they had to cut the entire episode. So I'm surprised that got through. Yeah, but. That but literally, didn't. she's just like, stop the poacher! Jeez. Double it's, bell shotgun. It's just because like, she's an <laughs> officer of the law. Yeah, therefore, G it's, has it's probably allowed. Yeah. Okay, like, you're right. allowed to have a gun if you're a cop. Uh, if you're <laughs> upholding <laughs> the law, okay. an I guess officer so. can yeah. have Stand a your weapon. So. So oh my god. <laughs> can we talk about all the times like they were the like, stuff was obviously censored? Like how rice balls were actually jelly donuts. Oh, oh yeah. man. Uh, and it's not just Pokemon either. There's like so many oh animes. God, yeah. Yeah. Like Yu-Gi-Oh! all the time. Anytime a gun was pulled, they just censored out the gun. So yeah, people are just like, pointing at their fingers. Hey, you stop. Uh, you're you're like, gonna point at me? What? I don't yeah. get it. Yeah, like, like the one like the one time when Kaiba jumped off like a fucking like he, he jumped off a cliff to avoid like getting shot at, 
right? Yeah. yeah. But in the like in the English dub, it was just a guy pointing at him. Hey, and he decided to like get him. And he get decided out. to get out and jump out the window. And he's like, <laughs> you can't hilarious. catch me. He jumps out the window. Everybody's like, whoa. What the heck? But like the thing is he jumps out the window, but then the entire wall is like shredded in the next scene, right? Because it was in the Japanese dub, it was gunfire. Just like destroyed, yep. right? Yeah. And then yeah. I'm just like, whoa, he not only broke the window, he halted his way through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, Yo, no, not was extreme. Juggernaut. <laughs> yeah. Juggernaut or Kool-Aid, <laughs> man. <laughs> pick, take your pick. Oh, um, man. But yeah, there's stuff like that all the time just, in the it's past. It's just four kids. Four kids. But censorship now is... you just see stuff like slightly censored. Yeah. Well, they know that anime is a little more, you know, hardcore yeah, than. Yeah. yeah I, I think um, everybody's going to notice if you censor. Well, a gun especially out. in Canada, <laughs> though, because, um, you know, YTV had their own kind of censoring laws or, or stuff, right. Compared to, to the U S yeah. so for instance, like Gundam seed in the U S on cartoon network, mm-hmm. all the guns, like they're all, you know, like guns, right. But in order to make them less violent, they made them to disco ray guns. So they, they went to after effects and put disco effects on all the guns. Oh yeah. To make them more futuristic, right. Compute laser beams. But like Gundam seed on, on YTV, blood, everything, yeah. guts, everything. I remember that. Yeah. Yep. The only episode they ever censored was there was one, um, there was one where like Zaft activates like a microwave weapon. It uh, causes people to literally explode. Oh, and they they yeah, they, they, they that cut that whole censored. episode. Yeah, they <laughs> cut the whole episode for that one. So anyway, it's yeah. that weird cool balance, stuff. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is one of those things like nostal- nostalgia anime. Yeah, nostalgia anime. But now because of like they're allowing more stuff like that, mm-hmm. and movies are allowing more stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna see I'm, more creepy stuff. I'm right? really looking forward to the Pokemon movie because I want to. Yeah. I want to see what happens. I, what's I a just, Pokemon? What's a Pokemon that you didn't see in the trailer, so you don't even know if it's ever gonna show up? Yeah, but you would love to see it rendered in that. Mewtwo. Mewtwo's up there. Mewtwo. Yo, Mewtwo. Ooh. Mewtwo. He That's was always one of my favorites, my, especially at, still, well, after still watching the first movie. See, Mm. I want to see something mm. like Scyther. Scyther would be Scyther really or Scizor, cool. like yeah. either one. Scyther would be like really legit. cool. Um, they, they actually surprised me with again with a lot of how like the renderings, right? Like yeah. uh, I was really again really happy to see um, Greninja, right? At, oh man, I want to see a Snorlax now. A Snorlax, like, oh, Snorlax would be great. Yeah, God, I can't. I can't even tell you, but like I'm not much of a like role play kind of guy or any kind of like insert myself into ma- like imaginary world. Mm-hmm. But I can't tell you how many times I've literally always wanted to be a Pokemon trainer. Like legit. Yeah. When real, when Pokemon yeah. Go came out. That was a I like, oh. What oh. what is happening in the movie is what I wanted Pokemon Go to be. Yeah. yeah. I've always imagined like, you know, like leaving the house to go on an adventure. And then I, I've said this too when Pokemon Go was actually at a tight and we were talking about it then. Mm-hmm. I'm actually happy that it happened while I was an adult because I went all out at like midnight. Yeah, yeah. We walked around and like caught Pokemon and mm-hmm. like I don't do it I don't play anymore because I just don't think it's that great of a game yeah but I had those moments and mm-hmm. I got to relive them and I'm like eternally thankful for that mm-hmm. and and another thing with that too I understand there's technology limitations yeah. and there's only so much they could do with it right. which is why the the game is not what the movie is but man yeah. like little by little with VR when stuff. I, I think I think the only thing is yeah. when, when when the time comes to upload my brain, I know what universe. I'm gonna yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. The only time I've ever actually ever had that feeling was university when uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out, and yeah. we had the little, little like Tamagotchi oh, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the Poke Walkers. That's yeah, all the Yo. entire campus was playing Pokemon. Yeah, I miss like, those. Actually, I would I be like, really... like it would actually happen where I would walk past some dude in like science theaters, and like he would have his DSO, I would have mine out, and we, and we would like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, exclamation yeah, mark exactly you know? right. give each other a nod Dude, be like mm, yeah mm. pokemon so, pokemon oh yeah yeah anyways yeah like uh, uh super hyped for the movie i i really want to see it i don't really care what the haters say about the dang devito stuff ryan reynolds i think is yo is, that's that's literally just a meme it's yeah just a meme. i think yeah. i hope it's a meme no but, it is 100 percent a meme because yeah. everybody's like oh i want danny devito to voice Detective apparently Pikachu. they did ask him and danny devito was like what's pokemon and then like like they were like, it's okay, just, well, well, no, that was yeah. from back when the Danny, uh, when the when the, someone the made the fan came. trailer, yeah, yeah, a fan trailer for the Detective fandom. Pikachu, yeah. Yeah. and it was like, oh, look, it's Danny DeVito, ah, that's so funny, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyways, I it's think not Ryan, it's not his fault. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds is gonna do a good job. I think uh, this oh, movie yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna be do awesome. I because, wouldn't, I can't yeah. think of that many other voice like like actors that would do voices. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, I, I think it's, I think it's gonna be great. I wish that Mewtwo shows up in the movie, and yeah, I hope, I hope you get your Snorlax scene. Honestly, even if Mewtwo doesn't show up, if he shows up in the subsequent movie, I'd be okay with this. 
It would be like an. It would be like after the credits. You know what? There could yeah. totally be. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm already okay with the idea of sequel for this movie. Yeah, me too. N- n- yeah. Not even a sequel. Because it's just like just the, another you, movie in, in the, the universe. universe. Yeah, they yeah. just build that universe. I'm it, totally cool. Yeah, it doesn't have to be Detective Pikachu. It could be like. Yeah, you know, it's it's special completely. versus Squirtle or something, or like an Eevee Yo, movie that's, or that's something the like that. Squirrel Squad, my yeah, bro. or like Squirrel Squad that's movie. Squirrel squad. Oh my god, Squirrel Squad movie! Give it to me, dude. If I see, <laughs> no, no, that that should, that'd be a great Easter egg. Like they're walking by and there's like a fire yeah. or something. Like one of the buildings is on fire due to whatever thing that they're investigating. Yeah, Squirtle shot a Squad shows up. There's blast toys like. You know, they, like they showed in the anime. Oh, yeah, they're all wearing the glasses. Like, oh, or, they're, or they're like fire department uses yeah, glass yeah, voices. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something and, like that. And uh, don't forget, uh, Officer Jenny with the Growliths. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, sh- okay. I, I want to see. Don't, don't forget. Yeah. Every every character kind of has their own Pokemon archetypes. Yeah. I, I want to see characters. Officer Jenny in their story. Oh, God. Too. Yeah. Nurse Joy, Officer Jenny. Yeah. yeah. I want to see them. Yeah. Jenny. Oh, Jenny. <laughs> Joy. Okay. Oh, anyways, Jenny. enough gushing about this movie. I really want to see it. We all want to see it. Yeah. Yep. So uh, something else that I kind of want to see, but that's not has nothing to do with the movie. But they released the full uh, game lineup for the PlayStation Classic, and I'm actually yes, thinking about picking this up because I don't have a SNES. Uh, Were, weren't you skeptical classic initially? Classic. I was, but the there's some really cool stuff. Yeah. Well, this is this like legit. Honestly, I look at I look at the full list and I'm like, I fully agree with every game on that list. Yeah. Uh, except for, I think there was one of them that... They should have included FF8, I think, as well as 7. Um, I think the... Okay, the biggest problem with fun, uh, with the PlayStation 1 is they have such a huge library. It's tough to pick. Yeah. It's hard ones, to pick. Yeah. And uh, on, honestly, all the ones in the list are actually really good classics. We keep on yeah. re- referencing this list. Let's... It, the the okay. list consists of okay. Battle Arena Toshinden. Good choice. Mm-hmm. Cool Borders 2. Don't, yep. Haven't played it. Uh, Destruction Derby. Yep. Haven't played that. Final Fantasy 7. Great. Mm-hmm. Grand Theft Auto, the original. Mm-hmm. Very good uh, game. Intelligent Cube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jumping Flash, which I actually have no idea what that I don't is. Know what that is. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid, the original. Required. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Driller. Mm-hmm. Odd World. So good. Uh, Rayman. Required. Solid game. Resident yeah. Evil Director's Cut. Yep. Required. Original. Yeah. Revelations Persona, interesting one. Never yeah, had. That was, I that was never so had it. Uh, not weird, but like, yeah, it's definitely like. Never a, mind. It, it did have an official release, but now is a very good time with Persona Five. And I mean, why not? So, right? right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Ridge Racer Type Four, Required Wars, game. Yeah. Ridge Racer. Uh, Sp- uh, Super Puzzle Fighter Two Turbo, which underrated. I'm actually so much fun. I'm hype. About. Yeah, underrated. Uh, Siphon Filter also Don't required. That Solid game. Uh, Tekken Three, probably mm-hmm. the best choice of all the Tekken games they could have chosen. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like it's definitely honestly, I I would have been solid. fine between Tekken, two, Tekken Two, and Tekken Three. T- two is good too, but yeah, like honestly, because it's like uh, the, I think the classic. Three, I think you you could have done any of them, mm-hmm. but yeah. Tekken Three probably has the most. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow okay. Six. Uh, this is the one I don't like. I'll tell you why in a second. But uh, go on. Is it because it's the most American? No, no, no. Uh, no. And Twisted Metal, which oh, I love. Required. Really love yes, that. yeah. Oh, Twisted Metal. And so Wild good. Arms. Yeah, really good choice. Another yeah. solid RPG. Yeah. Okay. I would say so. Out of that, like 20 games, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Like there's a very solid 15. Mm-hmm. Uh, arguably up to 18, mm-hmm. and then maybe two, one or two, where you're like. Maybe you're not the huge fan of, or you just don't know what the um, the the, the mm-hmm. source is, like the original game is. Um, okay, so tell me about Rainbow Six. Like- is because uh, the PC version is the definitive version. The PlayStation version is actually a completely different game, running on a different engine with completely different gameplay. It is not what the Rainbow they, Six you remember. So what if it was the PC one? So, mm, probably not. No, be. it's not. It's probably not going to be the console version. I want to say that different. it's probably not going to be. But what, I, I played the game on an N sixty four. I used to play the game on PC, yeah. and it's like, yeah, they're completely, That's completely fair. different games. And it's, uh, it, uh, I, I don't understand why they chose that one when they could have gone with something like Dino Crisis or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, so, like t- like Rainbow Six is a waste of a slot considering it's not it's not the the definitive one. I think they put it in there just for the name. So. Funny thing with all the games on this list, mm-hmm. I've beaten almost all of them except for I think three. And two of them was it was specifically because I couldn't find those games. Mm-hmm. It was they were harder to find. Right, hey, but hey, now you have the chance. Yeah, so true. um, yeah, the good, a really really good lineup of games. I, I would agree with that. Um, I, aside from Rainbow Six, but yeah, basically, it's everything that most people would have anticipated or wanted. There's very few things like even if you're only in it for like let's say FF7, yeah. Yeah. or if you're only in for like Metal Gear or Resident Evil. 
there's so many good games mm-hmm. that you should experience <laughs> even if you're new to it yeah i just thought of something yeah in metal gear there's that whole situation oh with the discs like, and the vibration and the, yeah where yeah. it's like okay psycho man just reads your your oh, that, mind yeah. so yeah, he your reads your memory card, card. He reads everything from... <laughs> well, it, it, he'll probably read the save states for any of the games that you have played and saved, right? Yeah, that's interesting. How are they going to handle that? There, there's also... The, are, the, are the controllers you're getting for the... They're not DualShock. Yeah, no, no, they're not DualShock. There's no, they're not DualShock. What there's do you mean? No, way. no Not analog, you mean? Or? No, like, they're not... They don't... They I, don't I, I don't think they have the rumble in them. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I, like, I, I know they're not, they're not uh, analog. Yeah, that kind of ruins the whole... Um, Metal Gear thing. Metal Gear thing. But yeah. then again, the controllers are USB, so you, you could theoretically use PS4. That was one of the things I was thinking about. Probably, I'd say. Because if it doesn't have functionality, it doesn't matter, right? Well, like you can true. You can buy a N64 controller with a USB adapter, but the, if the game itself doesn't tell it to yeah, rumble, that's it won't true. Rumble. But that's the thing, though. In, in like Metal Gear Solid, the game itself was built in yeah. to tell the controller to rumble. Yeah, the, the, these are effectively... I get that, but I just don't yeah. know what the... I, I just don't know where... I don't see why they would change I think the with, code. I think with Metal Gear, they would they would have to build something into the, the engine to, to, to make it do that, but like... No, I don't I don't think so, because the original game itself... Yeah, okay, let's just put it this way. If you okay. had the original controller, it didn't mm-hmm. rumble. If you had the right. rumble controller, it rumbled. Okay, can I, can I talk about a, a bit of controversy around this though so sure. apparently uh they the, according to some interview this thing actually runs pc sx ah uh, yes yeah this thing actually runs pc sx okay. uh, which is which is an open source yeah. emulator but I'm, i mean I'm in fairness like, that's exact. that's almost exactly step for step what like nintendo did like, yeah, it's an, em- exact- it's an emulation. Exactly. Machine. So, but I mean, the thing is, they've had backwards compatibility for Vita and for PS3 and with on their own proprietary emulator oh, without, yeah. without using open source. Oh, stuff. I see what you mean. So right? it's like, why are you using an open source yeah. uh, code when you have when you the code to when run you this? supposedly have all this exactly uh, pre existing yeah. back support? Well, you but, can buy right? a bunch of these games in the digital marketplace, right? Yeah. So, but so that's there's, there's just, uh, I think it's a, it's an ethics problem. Yeah. More than anything well, else. Well, I wouldn't be... I'm not as angry as Sony about it because they haven't had like a, a recent mass takedown of ROM sites like Nintendo has yeah. while selling their, their crappy limited library of things on a solid-state machine. But I don't know. Like, I, I think it was high time Sony did something like this. I'm actually surprised Sony didn't come to the market first before Nintendo was something like this. Yeah, I'm actually surprised I, by that too. I think yeah. Nintendo just values its retro... Uh, library more than Sony has. I think that's what it really yeah. comes down to. Yeah, I guess so. Like Nintendo's always been, uh, if you if you look amongst all of the the platforms that you can play games on, mm-hmm. Nintendo's always valued its retro library way more. That's true. Than anyone yeah. else. Like they market that shit. They're like eight bit this mm-hmm. and like it references that. Like it's in Super Mario and Super Mario Odyssey, their yeah. newest Mario game. They you you can you can play as a pixel version of Mario right yeah literally mm-hmm. right yeah and I think part of that is just because they have that heavy nostalgia mm-hmm. callback and they end up getting a lot of sales through that as well. I mean, yeah, if it makes you money, yeah. You know, At the end of the day, these companies are companies yeah. after all. They just care where the money's coming from. And honestly, I think it was just one of those cases where somebody at Nintendo thought of the idea first and they pitched it, and then yeah. Sony saw it later and they're like. You know what? We'll see if they make money off this, and if mm-hmm. they do, we'll do our own. So this I'm is just imagining, yeah. like, while, like, meanwhile, like, Microsoft's just standing there, like, I've got Halo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right? Pretty much, they're just standing so, off in the corner, just well, like. But you know I've what? Got, no, okay. no, 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 no. This is what they can. If, if I were Microsoft, this is what I would release: a game that's got space pinball, 3D space pinball. <laughs> <laughs> it's got ski free. <laughs> it's got solitaire. <laughs> Actually, those are the if, real if I was Microsoft, Microsoft retro, I would just take games. all those classic Xbox games and just release them on PC as a package. That is that was the point I was about to make. Like, okay, why is Master Chief Collection not on PC? Give it to me. No idea. Microsoft, I think, honestly, give it to me. They're just so bad at really uh, uh, solidifying yeah. that like connection between right. uh, the Xbox 
uh, environment and the PC environment because yeah. they were working on like this they, whole they thing. are working on it with like so the, Halo the, Infinite the, is going to be PCN Xbox. Well, there's one. the there's the what's it like? It, it used to be called Games for Windows Live. Gen, Games for Windows Live, yeah. but it's called for some, it's called something else now. It's where called non-existent now. No, it's called, no no that doesn't ex- yes a, right, Xbox that, Experience. No, Might be Xbox it. Experience. I don't it, think that's it. Like, but, but you, no, no. But Games for Windows Live, that yeah. specific platform, did get taken down in uh, in favor of this new project they were supposedly working on. Well, not supposedly they were, but mm-hmm. I haven't heard anything about it for ages now yep. that I remember. Which is literally like they were trying to integrate it so that basically any games you could play on Xbox, you, you could play, play on, on PC. PC. Yeah, haven't heard about it in years. Apparently, they're still working on it. Like there was an interview a while back. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying it's easy to. Yeah, I want to point that out. I'm just saying that like oh, yeah. I, I just think that I'd, I'd say it's easier now than it was back in the day because. Yeah. The yeah. Xbox One mm-hmm. S, yeah. right? Whatever it is called now, yeah. Um, it it's really close to that compute to that hardware of a com, com, uh, like any uh, PC standard hardware. PC yeah, hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, same thing with like PlayStation Four. Like, well, yeah, the majority of the new consoles now are, are easy to. They're support, so close right? to actual PCs nowadays that yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not even that it hard to transfer back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, the the thing. The thing I was uh, recently reading though was that yeah they were trying they were still working on it. It's going to be launched soon. Don't know when. <laughs> probably with the launch of Halo. We're talking Infinite. Duke Nukem kind of soon. <laughs> yeah, probably the, with the launch of Halo Infinite. But like the yeah, idea yeah, was yeah. that your 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 PC and your Xbox achievements could cross over initially. I'm like big whoop, you know? Yeah, like yeah. Honestly, that's like a yeah. Ooh, achievement yeah, 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 achievements are, yeah. are pretty few and far between. But I, I'm a hundred percenter, but I'm not a. There are some guy. achievement hunters out yeah. there who are like oh this is gonna be awesome yeah. and cool and stuff like that but um, the question is will they even sw- yeah. make the switch they're, supposed, they're like, supposed to be cross plays soon right. though i mean like um and and some publish or some third party like people are doing it already like fortnite's already got like cross play oh right? i get that um but and i think minecraft windows can play with minecraft xbox <sighs> minecraft you I know love what, minecraft. one of those yeah, things yeah, that i'm actually surprised it, it didn't come out already for was something is like their gears of war franchise yeah, Gears, Gears has had a rocky history on PC. Like, I did buy the, like, way back in the day when I, I had a GT8800. Do you remember that video yeah, card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the Crisis days. Yeah. Um, like, my like first gaming PC I built right out of high school. Can I run Crisis? <laughs> <laughs> it did. At 30 frames per second. <laughs> Good shit. At what, yeah. Yeah. At what, at what res? 1080p. Like, oh, mm. 1080p. Um, on high, not ultra. But anyways. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, so... <laughs> I got Years of War with that, right? And right. like, holy crap, what a mess of a PC port, right? Yeah, I'll agree with that. But I mean, now they could do so much good with it. Yeah, they could. Like, Microsoft has just had sacrificed so much goodwill over the years, you know? Like, you know, everyone kind of says, hey, you know, really great customer service for dealing with the Red Rings, Xboxes and stuff, right? Yeah. Like, like extending the warranty by three years. I just mm-hmm. watched a video on that today. But anyways, like, but again, you know, like your hardware business is failing at the mm. moment, right? Like, how much the P- how much is the PS4 outselling the Xbox buy right now, right? It's mm-hmm. like a buy. factor of five to one, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's I said this before. And how much is the Switch, which is right. technically not as powerful as either of those two yeah, consoles? But they're kicking ass. Like, but how much is a Switch just killing it out there? Yeah, everyone's kind of on Steam, but you know, some people got their own thing. EA's got Origin, Ubisoft's got uh, Uplay, yeah. Gross, got real. there's Battle.net. With... Yeah, there's GOG, there's Battle.net, yeah. right? So like, if Microsoft joins in, that will actually kind of shake, I would think that will legitimately kind of shake up the PC environment a little. Honestly, to have, with all those things. Cons- to have good console integration, I, I think so, personally. I, like, I'm starting to, to get a little bit annoyed by it. It would have to be amazing. It would. Uh, like, like that's the that, that's my biggest issue. I'm not saying that you're yeah. wrong. I'm mm-hmm. just saying that their implementation right. would have to be so next level. Right. It's not gonna be next level. Okay. Yeah. I'm, this right now. I'm actually getting annoyed with all these different companies with their own like a little, yeah. Like, hey, you have to come to our service to get this now. Yeah, you like, have to come to our service. It's like streaming services. And I am, oh man. You kept don't even this, don't yeah. even get me started on streaming services. You've got that's Hulu, getting me really you've got annoyed. Netflix, yeah. you've got Amazon Prime TV, uh, you have Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. That's which true. Which I'm sure Sarah's gonna get <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Really? Yeah. But I mean, there's well, literally two weeks later, everybody's oh, coming that. out just, with their own, yeah. and it's yeah. basically well, the the reason why we went to the streaming services yeah. was to get away from like the sixty dollar a month yeah, yeah. business of paying for TV. Yeah. So that we can pay for what we wanted to watch, and now basically they're, just, they're taking that and ripping it all apart and being like, you have to have all these different ones to see the things you want, mm-hmm. and it's going back up to that sixty dollar price point again, and we're like. 
you know what? I think I can live out with, without half of these again. Yeah. yeah so, but I guess so. It'll be interesting. I, I, I just want to see the console integration, right? Because like, yeah. I, I wish Sony had done something like that where I, where I could go on to hop on the PC because like they, they initially kind of talked about, this is the, the beginning of a new era with Unreal Tournament 3. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Like on PS3, yeah. where oh, you, you right. could actually play with like PC play, yeah. players and stuff. I was like, Oh great! This that means Sony's kind of embracing the whole like PC to the console thing after Microsoft had abandoned it, right? Yeah. And then and nothing came of it. I right? will admit though, part of that whole business of the crossover content yeah. is because of the different companies, and they're like, who who gets what money for when stuff crosses over? Yeah, and exactly. It, the, it starts getting a little bit sketchy. It's a and, big reason why Destiny Two doesn't have like you know like cross saves and i'm still salty about that but yeah, yeah. There, there's stuff like that right like mm. honestly it's it's you would think it's not a big deal because mm. it's the same game but when but the, you yeah. look at it because it's on the different Publishing consoles deals, and exclusive everything content all that stuff. and at the end I, of the day yeah. money yeah. talks yeah i think honestly the the uh, just the you, whole you, integration you, you, thing yeah. the, like specifically with microsoft the reason why it's not working is not because of development yeah. i think it's because the Xbox is just not doing that well, yeah. And they just don't like they're 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 slowing the roll on it because why would you invest mm-hmm. more? Like like right. it's throwing good money after bad essentially. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying that the Xbox is gonna. Well, that's not true. I've said in the past that I don't. I, out of the three existing consoles, I believe the, the I Mi- Microsoft, Microsoft is the first one that will probably disappear from the market yeah. if it disappears from. The market. I, I think mm-hmm. it will personally just. Yeah. Well, consoles themselves are kind of getting out of vogue, right? Like, I think Sony is the only one that's kind of like hanging in there with their own and doing yeah, their because, own thing, right? And then, well, oh, Nintendo's I, the one really doing yeah. their own thing in the sense that well, Sony now too because they just want to do they, like, just, they just want to do handhelds, right? That's what Nintendo really. So wants Nintendo's to do. got the the market on handhelds, and Sony's got the market on amazing exclusives on on consoles as well. Like yeah. they, they have the console market locked down, and again, they are doing their own thing because they just announced yeah. they're not going to be at E three. Really, Compl- there's no Sony yeah, conference this that's year. That's right. Next year, there uh, will not be a Sony relying conference. specifically on the PlayStation experience. Yes, thing, right? and they even con- canceled that. They've got something up their sleeves. So this is going to be something. <laughs> We're melding with, <laughs> yeah, but with, with but, Atari. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, but I mean, like they know they can actually kind of do their own thing now yeah. because they like they have this high end console market cornered, right? Versus yeah. Nintendo's got their thing. They, Nintendo's untouchable. They, yeah, they kind of yeah. they know that you can't. You kind of just no one can catch up with Nintendo as of yeah, right now. Exactly. In, in, uh, in terms of like that corner of the market you can't do which like, is which yeah. is a great market like yeah because like yeah. the best part is you honestly can be both right you can be you can have your console or your pc or whatever yeah and you can absolutely have a switch and nintendo understands that right to the max and then i think i think sony is now starting to understand yeah. that too yeah. right it's like you who are a core gamer you will have multiple consoles right yeah. it, there's no point in competing the only time well not to mention that like nintendo literally yeah. has the exclusive of exclusives right. you know and, what i mean like they yeah. don't they're not like hey come play zelda mm-hmm. on your pc yeah you're and, the, and this whole media hub thing is is starting to make a lot less sense now especially yeah, sure. which is i think why microsoft is focusing so much less on the xbox one yeah. now right because honestly i'm a little sad yeah. to hear the news now though because yeah e3, e3 was e3 hype was a, that was that it's, was it's like, a fun event it's a fun to event. check out yeah and like you know it kind of represents the worst of the whole gaming journalism plus the gaming industry crossover and this whole like everyone's in bed with each other kind of thing right it kind of mm-hmm. represents the whole the worst of that but yeah. also you know what screw it i just like video games you know yeah me too like, I, I want i want a weekend dedicated just to video games that i want to be excited for you every know? Like, year i've watched e3 yeah. just because it's fun to watch and they're like all this new content coming out and like look at all these game trailers look and everything disasters that are waiting and, yeah like, <laughs> that's the best everyone ones. loves a good disaster like, <laughs> every e3 i always come out with a smile even if it's like oh there's like all of these x games that are gonna be bad there's always a ton of games that are going to be really cool as yeah. well. Yeah. And I always come out with a smile on my face because I'm not a single console person anymore. Right. Yeah. Nice. Uh, for me, it's all about the games. Mm-hmm. And if the games are cool, I'm all down for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, again, though, I have a PC. I, I think I think this is what the, it's coming down to. You, if you're a core gamer, you have a PC, you have a Nintendo console, and you have either an Xbox or a PlayStation, depending on which one you bought at launch. Uh, right. And the majority of people bought a PlayStation, yeah. which is why I think Microsoft is kind of in a corner. So, you know what? Just you know how you get all the money back? Just just give me Master Chief Collection on PC, please. Just, just give it to me. Uh, sort of like like just as a uh, we have a couple yeah, minutes I know. left. Yeah. Um, speaking of like buying different consoles and stuff, Black Friday is coming up. Oh, Anything yeah. you have your eyes on? PS4 Pro probably. PS4 Pro or or another PlayStation Four, like because mine mine's having issues now. Oh um, really? 
yeah, like my my Bluetooth connection keeps dropping out for the controllers, so mm. um, that's, that's kind of sucks. Is yeah. That, are you sure that's not just because of some kind of uh, I've gone through I've gone through that, like multiple controllers. Yeah. yeah, it could be interference. Well, it's as well. because you live in a like a, a complex. Area. Yeah, that could so, be it. I don't know, but it's um, very complex. But I don't, I don't have a 4K <laughs> TV, so this, the, a PlayStation 4 is not really like a big upgrade. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about trying to get some uh, nice yeah. 24 inch widescreen. Oh yeah, that's not curved. Yeah, like I want I want 1080p or yeah, Only 1080p 24? at 144 hertz. That isn't a curse. Yeah, screen. I'm gonna go for a 32 or something. I'm using a TV as a monitor currently, and I I, I really enjoy oh, that. Oh, I'm using so. a TV as a monitor. Well, right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, refresh, my refresh rates suck, and my latency sucks. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So uh, a while back, one of my monitors died on me. Mm -hmm. So I've been rocking one 27 inch monitor and a TV as my second monitor. Yeah. The TV works fine for anything I don't need to read stuff on. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a little bit of an older TV. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to be looking mm -hmm. into grabbing some monitors. Yeah, I, th I think it's high time for me to actually <laughs> upgrade to a monitor. Like, I, I thought the P the TV was an upgrade. Uh, I kind of did my research initially. Like, Size is not everything. Uh, yeah, no, to a it's, more, extent, it's more I'm probably going to be grabbing yeah. <laughs> 27 inches at yeah. the bare minimum. I don't know. I, don't know. I think I'll, I'll stick with... Uh, I'm okay with 24s. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. As long as it's not curved. I, I don't think that they're. it's bad to have curved screens. I just, I don't want to browse on a curved screen. Yeah. Like, I'm okay with playing games or watching movies or shows on a curved screen. Mm -hmm. It's just when I'm, I'm thinking about, like, browsing, you know, just, like, sites for, like, and, like, lots, lots of text and stuff with Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's great. I'd have to test that out. What, you I, don't I, want wraparound Wikipedia articles? No, I don't. Oh, you want to be surrounded by the information? No, 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 because when they, ask, when they start asking me for money. yourself in that knowledge. <laughs> when they start asking me for donations, I don't want to be interested <laughs> just, in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just that donation banner being yeah. like, every year, <laughs> Wikipedia provides million, access to See, millions of uh, articles. Yeah. And I'm just like... <laughs> the curve screens are going to be a little bit interesting for me because... I don't mind them as much, but at the same time, I'm going to be rocking two monitors on my desk. So right, and that's going to take like a ninety degree. Angle. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, like, I, like, because depending gonna, on the curve, you can't. You can't. You, can, like, you, can't, you don't want to make an M. Or yeah, a w shape. Yeah, you want to make like a like a a nice curve, view, right? Yeah, kind of half circle, but. You, Ain't nobody got space for that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, exactly. I, I do have the space for that. No, but I mean, like, I, but still, I yeah, weird. yeah. I don't know. Like, it, it'll be odd. It, so I'll have to take a look at it. it it'll be, but that's what I'm looking for this Black it, Friday. Yeah, I'm not surprised that curved screens haven't really taken off that much. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> do you I, guys I, remember I'm, the 3D screens? I'm generally. Yeah, I was well. just about to say. I'm generally wary of display technology. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't like smart TVs. I don't like the notion of of. Uh, yeah. When they came out with the 3D shit, I was mm -hmm. just like, I don't care. Like, I'm Me just either. gonna go with the very base, like the very baseline with better refresh rate and like nicer colors, maybe. Yeah. But I don't need anything that's like, like don't give me 4K. Nothing supports 4K right now. Like the bandwidth usage is just too high for 4K. Yeah, it's just computational power too. Yeah. yeah I, I don't really care about 4K. I just yeah, I, I find my I have best results when I render a higher higher resolution in the downscale right yeah so yeah yes. if you render it like you know if the, the options say you render at 200 percent resolution and then downscale it, it looks great it yeah. looks amazing you can turn off anti-aliasing and everything yeah you exactly just go like exactly any good old fun tech stuff yeah uh that about does it for this episode mm -hmm. uh thank you everyone for listening as always please comment like subscribe Share with your friends if you like us and yep. think it deserves to be shared, I suppose. Shoot us a message. Yeah. Say hi mm -hmm. to G. Aw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, have yourselves a good one. Take care. Excelsior. 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 Excelsior.